City Councilor Sally Calera lost her at-large seat on Tuesday. She finished seventh out of nine candidates in a race for six seats. Joe Vizard, a 29-year-old health policy analyst running for the third time, beat her by a whopping 400 votes. Uh, when you get a new person on, they can bring new ideas to the table. Currently, Kalura is the subject of a lawsuit filed by her former employer for what he describes as a personal vendetta against him. So was that a factor? Not really, according to our election analyst Michael O'Halloran, who said that Kalura has ended up near the bottom of the pack in previous elections. The, the victory tonight for Joe Vizard uh, speaks more to Joe's efforts than it did to Sally's issues. Ken Doucette also earned a seat. Other at-large seats were won by incumbents, with Tom Stanley earning the most votes once again. Paul Brasco, another councillor involved in a scandal earlier this year, finished fourth after placing second in the last election. Over in the school committee race, two new faces with familiar names won two of three seats. Former Waltham High School principal John Graceffa received almost 4,000 votes, finishing first. His father used to be the clerk of uh, court here in Waltham. His mother is a longtime staple uh, at the bank, um, and, and, and they're a, a family that's uh, really been enmeshed in, into the fabric of Waltham. Finishing third was another 29-year-old, Edmund Teddy Tarallo, boosted by similar name recognition. Teddy Tarallo, who legal name Edmund Tarallo, uh, much like his dad's, his family has been very much involved. His dad is the Ward 2 counselor, who many, many years ago ran uh, in Ward 7. Incumbent Margie Donnelly finished second. After a poor showing in September's preliminary election, eight-year committee veteran and former Bright School principal Stephen Rando failed to win re-election. First-timer John Frassica, who finished second in the warm-up election, also missed the cut, showing that primaries aren't always indicative. That will surprise a lot of people that you can go from second to fourth in, in edging yourself out. It happened to Ken Doucette two years ago, finished second in the primary, and then came in seventh in the final. In contested ward races, Ward 5 Councillor Gary Marchese and Ward 8 Councillor Stephen Roark both won. Marchese for the eighth consecutive time. Jeanette McCarthy will serve a third term as mayor after earning more than 6,500 votes, the most of any candidate by far. Her book-spinning challenger Andrew Worth was roundly defeated but earned a respectable 787 votes. Elections involving a mayoral race typically draw out voters, but with only 22 percent this year, turnout continues to dwindle. Turnouts for the last two elections involving mayoral races were 27% in 2007 and 43% in 2003. I think that Waltham is going through a change. We're not as parochial as the, t as the community used to be. And so in that period of transition, you will see less passionate turnout for municipal offices. For Waltham Newswatch, I'm Chris Wangler.